in Asia, it's quite bizarre because they've got these Asian hornets and they've still got bees and they've still got babies with heads on. <laughs> Remarkable. <laughs> okay. So they get their 12 ball shotguns and shoot them out of the sky. Trouble is... When we're here today, we've gone international. And we're here with our friend Robert Moon from Applicator 3D. Am I pronouncing that right? Applicator 3D. <laughs> okay, stop the French from me now, Sorry. come on. Robert here is the expert, the go-to man as far as I'm concerned, about Asian hornets. And in the UK, we keep seeing it every summer in the news, the Asian hornet is getting closer, and then it all gets mixed up. What was the one in, in America? The murder hornet well, the, and the... Murder oh. giant Asian, yeah. So we're here basically to try and put a few things right and tell the story of the Asian hornet is it going to be a problem in the UK? Do we have to treat it any different? And how Robert has took to treating the Asian Hornet in France. Robert, tell us all about the Asian Hornet. Why should we be concerned about the Asian Hornet in the UK? The Asian Hornet arrived in France in 2004 on a shipment from allegedly Shanghai. Um, it was first detected in the Bordeaux area and then it gradually spread and then people started panicking about it. Trouble is at the time nobody knew what it was and therefore the journalists got hold of it and then they will just mass panic. The killer, murder, Asian hornet, we're all doomed, we're all going to die. Then the fire brigade who are normally responsible, the pompiers, normally responsible for treating European hornets, um, said yeah we can do it. So they started treating the Asian Hornet and they got their big fire engines out and uh, ambulances and everything else. Whoa, 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 hold on a second here. In France, if there's Hornets, they rank, bring, used to ring up the fire brigade. Yep. <laughs> right, okay. Up until 2014, 2016, um, previously, if you had a wasp or a Hornet nest, European Hornet, Nest, you'd call the Pompier or the Fire Brigade, they'd somebody, send somebody out and they would destroy it for you. Up until 2014 it was free of charge because there weren't that many and it's no different to saving a little cat. From 2016 it was chargeable by the Pompier but there was too many Asian Hornets in France for them to, they're spending more time treating Asian Hornet nests than they were um, treating accidents on the road and wow. burning houses. So then they got a group of um, pest controllers. Luckily I was in the right place at the right time and formed a group that could go off and treat commercially, so I earned money out of it, treating Asian hornets for the public. In the early stages, the Pom when the Pompiers stopped doing it, they contacted the local mayor and the mayor said, okay, we, we can get the local hunt group over. Okay. So they get their 12 ball shotguns and shoot them out of the sky. Trouble is, when you've got a nest, it's France. <laughs> yeah. When you've got a, um, a nest of about 50 or more fertilized queens, okay. and you shoot it with a shotgun, chances are you'll kill two or three queens, and the rest of them will hibernate and reform next Absolutely, year. Yeah. So from one or two nests in Bordeaux in 2004, it has spread pretty much throughout the entire mainland of France, over to Italy, over to Switzerland, up to as far as north of Holland, um, exponentially. But so let me just recap this, right? So <coughs> they went from the fire brigade going out, and there was too many of them to deal with. Correct. Then they got local hunters, basically, or the local hunts, correct, to come out with a twelve bore, correct, and shoot them. Yep. What? <laughs> to shoot them? Okay, and then I suppose to see to someone not educated in pest control or an entomologist or when people are getting the wrong advice from the wrong places, correct? And then it becomes almost like a folklore fact. This is what happens when they're not listening to the people on the ground who deal with the pests. In other words, pest controllers, correct. and that's who they should have been speaking to all that yep. time ago. The huntsman decided that they were uh, shooting to me out of the sky. The, the local mayor said it's not particularly viable or ecological. 
So then the journalist got hold of it again and said, oh yeah, it's beekeepers that need to do this because beekeepers are bee suits. But trouble in France, or the good thing about France, is pest control is highly regulated. A beekeeper is not necessarily a pest controller. Of course. A yeah. pest controller can keep bees. Yes. In 2014, the Pompier Fire Brigade contacted a group of pest controllers and we started treating Asian hornet nests. The 2014, I treated about 50 nests. 2015, same. 2016, same. 2017, 18, I did about 250 Asian hornet nests in this area, but I was going as far as 55 kilometers radius. It was good times. We earned good money out of it. <laughs> well, it helps. It certainly it helps. helps. And, um, but now, for the last two or three years, the amount of Asian hornets has come right down. Last year, I mean, now is January 2023. Um, up until December 22, I treated about 50 Asian hornet nests and in do you a think, 30 kilometer radius. Do you think that's because of the fact that you're treating them quickly or do you think that's maybe because of the weather or because as we know like in England with the wasp season sometimes you think oh there's going to be millions of wasp nests around this year and it's an absolute plot and it's like well was that because the weather was too hot in the spring too dry in the summer to this to Pretty that much, yeah. and could it be that or could you actually be having an effect on the actual overall population do you think hopefully both well yes. hopefully i am having an effect but last year um 2022 was a session it was a, a drought year so we had six weeks at over 40 degrees wow. daytime temperatures gets a bit hot um the mortel temperature, sorry, I have to go into French occasionally. Um, <laughs> the temperature that will kill most insects is about 40 degrees. To kill the insects and the eggs is about 43 degrees. Okay. So a lot of nests were roasting in the nest. Because a lot of the time they're just hanging up in a tree or... They hang... European hornets like to hide. So you, European hornets you will find in tree trunks, yeah. you will find in attics, you will find in chimneys. Yeah. Asian hornets expand rapidly and they are more extrovert. So you'll see them not necessarily in the summer because the trees are full of leaves, but you'll see them big ball, big round ball, like yeah. a beach ball, in a tree attached to two or three branches. They will never go, up, and until now I've never seen them in a chimney. Okay. But they'll go into lofts, no problem. Like as long as they've got the space to expand. Yeah. And places yeah. like that. But they won't ever be in a tree trunk. They won't ever be, up until now, I've never seen them in a chimney. Okay. Okay. Um, in France, pest control is highly regulated. You can't just be a window cleaner, wake up in the morning and go, ooh, I'm going to be a pest controller. You can't clean a window and then... Yeah. Go buy some ant powder yeah. and... Yeah, yeah. So As, you, you and, and believe a, me, Robert, there'll be a lot of pest controllers watching this going, why, why, why can't we be as sensible in the UK? Um, who right. knows? <laughs> For example, you need a SIRIT number. A SIRIT number is your trading number. You have to declare with the government exactly what your activity is. Yeah. So if you're a window cleaner, you have a different SIRIT, number. SIRIT code. So if a window cleaner sees a a wasp nest in France, uh -huh. they are down tools, walk away, same with, a um, same with a chimney sweep, same with a roofer, they are down tools, walk off site, call me in and I'll do the job. It's like an almost the, the ultimate version of a, not my job. It's exactly <laughs> that. When, when you um, greet people in France, you say, um, in England you say, what do you, what, what, what's your job? Yeah. In France, they say, c'est quoi votre métier, which is, what is your skill? What are you skilled at? And that brings us around a little bit to the fact that you're classed as an artisan kind of tradesperson as a pest controller. I have an um, artisan badge. I have an uh, identity card. It's all regulated with the French government. Uh -huh. What I do, my address, my SIRIT number, my trading code, um, exactly what I do. So um, if the police want this, show them that. And this is respected in France as well by people. So if someone was to, if I was your window cleaner, and I turn up and there's a wasp nest, yep. 
and I said to the customer, I might have cleaned your windows, but there's a wasp nest up there. Do you want me to sort that out for you? They would probably they, they say... They cannot do that. They cannot they, do that. cannot do it. No. Illegal. You can go massive, massive fines, <laughs> prison. If you're... I am, apart from my wife, who's now diplomed, we are the only Brits in France with French diplomas in pest control. Okay. In the entire okay. France. And we'll put a link in the description below uh, from their website, um, so you can always... Have a look and um, get in touch with Robert as well if, if needs be. But, uh, yeah. So you need a CIRIT number, you need a trading license, you need insurance, you need... There are certain jobs you, if you want to do it, you have to have a minimum outlay of products. So a gardener can't just wake up and go, oh, to be a gardener. You have to have a sit on mower. You have to have a chainsaw. You, have you can't to just have a, a trowel and decide no, to can't do it. Go, no. no, can't do it. Okay. So everyone's got... It's, it is infuriating because you can't go, oh, yeah, no, I, I can do that, I can do that, because you can't. It's, if you haven't listed it, you can't do it. <laughs> but it works brilliantly. Once, you, once you've gone through the loops and yeah, the hoops you've and all the rest of it. everything, you think, yeah, I, I, I'm here now. Yeah. I'm a demigod in this village. I can park my van... If it's got applicator 3D on the van, I can park it on the roof of the police station and they go, <laughs> that's Rob, don't worry about it. And it, it's, it's amazing the difference between um, the public um, and the government's view of the industry. It's the same industry. And yet in the UK, it's kind of all about face. Um, most of the customers that we go to, it's the last thing they want to do is get a pest controller in. They'd rather go down the window cleaner route, go down the cleaner's route, go down every other route they can before um, they employ a professional yeah. that actually gets rid of the problem properly from the root cause. Unfortunately, still in France, or as in UK, they still sell rodenticides and hemp powder yeah. in DIY shops. Once it's all failed, yeah. they call me. We, we've actually, uh, we're actually in France on our way back from another part of filming that we've been doing down in Italy. And we've been horrified. The, 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 the amount of uh, rodenticide we've seen hanging outside of boxes. Mm. Um, it, it's crazy. It, it needs stopping. It really does need stopping yep. because it's decimating everything else, not just the, the field mice and the rats and all the rest of it. It's the roll on effect. And, yep. it, and in, in the UK, it's always coming back on the professional pest controllers. And we're not the problem. The problem is general public being able to go to a local shop, buy a big bag of rodenticide, or yeah. just a small bag. That's the latest thing, isn't it? You can only buy small bags, but you can go to 10 shops. 300 grams. I think you call it Storm. Yeah. We call it Cilantro. Um, you can buy 300 gram tubs at the yeah. supermarket. Of cilantro you can buy? Yeah, so cilantro is uh, Storm. Yeah. I believe so. Well, the truth is, as you probably know if you've been watching the best interceptors, we don't really use any rodenticides anymore. And we're hoping that that really does start to catch on in the UK. The reason that we did that is not just because that we love animals uh, and we don't want to be causing damage to the environment and things. It's because we know that the industry is going to have to change and they're making an example of the pest control industry in the UK. You might as well jump on our bandwagon and stop using rodenticides because I'm telling you now, in five years' time, I don't think there'll be any rodenticides or you'll have to apply for a special license, even as a pest controller. Be prepared for that. Think about the future. Think about where the industry's going to go. When next time you're throwing some bait up in a loft, don't be a bait chucker. For God's sake, stop being bait chuckers, lads. You know, and lasses. Rodenticides um, kill. They don't yeah. just kill rats, they kill humans, they kill dogs, they kill yeah. whatever. Yeah, every, everything else that, down the food chain, basically. Yep. And we need to stop that. But we're digressing a little bit. We are we're talking about, yeah, it's about Asian me, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's France. It's highly regulated, and you can't even fart in France mm -hmm. without a diploma. Okay. So this, for example, is a map of my department share in central France. There's 35 pest controllers in share. Share is about the size of Lincolnshire. 35 pest controllers. Uh, I've got 35 pest controllers in That's Dudley. That's me there. <laughs> so, Asian hornets. 
beekeepers are not involved whatsoever in treating Asian hornets unless Good. they've got a qualified diploma in certain bio seed. Um, it's nothing to do with them. The Asian hornet is an invasive species. It shouldn't be here. Yeah. It's smaller than the European hornet. It's uh, slightly larger than the wasp. It's no more aggressive than the European hornet. It's just, it's a fantastic insect. It's just in the wrong place. Yeah. And we're, we're, what we're going to do here is we'll um, show you some samples of some bees, wasps, Asian hornets, European hornet, and you'll be able to see the difference. Because if you used to believe the press, the worldwide press, it's not just the English press or the European press, it's a worldwide problem where it's all about clickbait, it's all about shock, shock and awe, shock and awe, get people to buy this, look at this. It sells newspapers. Exactly. And this is one of those subjects, because it's a very serious subject. Mm. Uh, these Asian hornets, they need to be stopped. Apparently, we've already got them in England. Debatable. So say. Debatable. The yeah. first found Asian hornet nest in uh, the UK was found in Gloucestershire. That well-known transient point yeah. between <laughs> France and... I th in my opinion, it's just no difference to how they arrived in Europe via boat or via caravan to France. Um, that's how they arrived in the UK. They've been transported over to um, uh, Gloucester. Yeah. So, over to the UK. Um, there were, I think, three years ago, one or two Asian hornet nests in the UK. Last year, I think there was one Asian hornet nest in the UK, in Hastings or might have been Sussex, whatever. But in my opinion, because they were so far inland, they can't have flown over. They must have been brought over by somebody. Yeah, because uh, we were talking last night about uh, tree bumblebees. Um, as you probably know if you've been watching our channel, we, we remove tree bumblebees from people's lofts and places like that. And the story with those was, um, the theory is they got blown across, which I can kind of, maybe, it's 26 miles across the channel at the end of the day, something like it's that, isn't it? Though, isn't it? It's unlikely. But the tree bumblebees were spotted on the south coast in the year 2000, I believe, okay. or thereabout. We'd never even heard of them in the Midlands until eight years ago. And it took that long to get up there, but now they're already in Scotland. So certain species will breed so quickly and, and, and with the right weather, right wind directions, things like that. If the Asian hornet is not controlled correctly, hopefully what I'm trying to explain to the UK is don't do it how it was done in the UK. I can teach you how to do it properly. Um, if they're controlled correctly and not blasted out of the sky and... Just put your shotguns away. Put your shotguns away, you gay. <laughs> it doesn't work. I know it feels good, but it no. It's good for it's good fun. <laughs> um, it's not a job for beekeepers. I don't know why beekeepers have got on the bandwagon. Just because you've got a bee suit makes you qualified to cheat a uh, trait. Yeah. Just because you've got a bee suit doesn't make you qualified to... Um, treat Asian hornet nests. Yeah. It needs to be treated correctly, with the correct equipment. There's no need to chop trees down, there's no need to um, use heavy equipment. I can treat up to 25 metres um, with my Lance Telescopic, which I've got in the van. Have a, can we have a look at that in a while? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and anything up to 40 metres, which I've never seen a nest higher than 40 metres. Um, I've got a paintball gun, which I can blast them out. So do you just shoot them with the... I'm being an idiot here, aren't I? Surely there's some kind of insecticide involved in it. It's a paintball gun. You've got the normal paintball um, pellets, uh -huh. which you can buy at the paintball shop. Uh, it's an insecticide paintball. Okay. Which has got 50% paint, just to know you know, you've, so you've hit, hit the target. And 50% insecticide. You need to get about 10, 15 insecticide pellets in, inside a nest, big nest, like yeah. that. So that's enough to kill it. Wow. See, a lot of people are like that. A lot of pest controllers would love that in the UK. <laughs> you know, they would absolutely love there's, that, wouldn't there's they? A, there's a couple I know of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, it's, it's, it's a serious business, um, shooting Asian hornets out of the trees with uh, paintball guns. <laughs> Could you not use a flamethrower? <laughs> there was a video of somebody doing that, but yeah, unfortunately, it's... It's a little bit too dangerous. Yes, absolutely. But there are I'm joking there. Do not do that, please. <laughs>
<laughs> there are drones available that will shoot um, paintballs, but the, their loader isn't sufficient to, to, to kill a uh, Asian hornet nest. nest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. But in here, yeah. in France, or in saint amand which is where Julian and Philippe uh, was born, the uh, Tour de France French racer, the right years. Every t every household in the village has been given a letter from the Mary, which explains the Asian hornet, what it does, how to trap it, and um, do not do not even attempt to treat it. But contact the police municipal, and they'll identify the nest, and then they'll call me because I've. It's only me in this village, the town of 15,000 people that is qualified to treat the Asian hornets in saint -Amon. It's such a difference, isn't it? It's just such a difference to, to the UK because that would never happen. That would never, ever happen. The, the, the mayor of a local area would think, oh, I'd want to help here. This needs to be done in the correct way by the correct people. It's a shame it took them so long to get to this point in France. Exactly. But, and I don't want it to happen in England. Which and is that's, why I'm trying to help you guys. Yes, that's don't what really happen in, in, in the UK and stop beekeepers getting involved because Taken over. It, is a pest contr it is a pest which needs controlling. Yeah, yeah. It's the, just down. because it's a pest of bees mm. doesn't mean that it's a beekeeper's job to get rid of that mm. pest. Leave it to the professionals. I know I'm going to upset a load of people. We might even get a few dislikes on that. I'm not bothered because... I want to save beekeepers and save the bees from the stress of the Asian yeah. hornet. They're already under enough stress as it is. Beekeepers are not tra uh, trained pest controllers. We are trained to use chemicals that kill. Window cleaners are not qualified pest controllers. Chimney sweeps are not qualified pest controllers. A pest controller has been through the course, had sufficient training, is qualified. Yeah. You've done wasp nest, I've done wasp nest. I was just in the right place at the right time and managed to get involved with the Talk, Asian Hornets. Talking about wasps, I mean, would the way we treat wasps with, say, uh, dust and things like that in the UK, with a proper applicator, would that work on Asian Hornets it's or are the they same, tougher? Or no, no, no. It's just the same? It's the same product. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't charge 10 times more because it's an Asian Hornet nest. Yeah. For me, a wasp nest is the same as a um, uh, Asian hornet nest is the same as European yeah. hornet nest. If they're in the wrong place at the wrong time, they need to be treated. Yeah. I haven't got a problem treating um, European hornet nests because yeah. quite often they're in chimneys. Well, to, to us, when we get European hornets, um, we don't get many calls about them. Yeah. But if we can leave them, if we can convince the customer... I do that as well. I do that as you well. You know, yeah, because they're an amazing creature. Yeah. Even though they're huge compared to wasps and the Asian hornet, the European hornet, um, we've seen them predating on our bees as well, the European hornet. But the bees can cope with that. Before the Asian hornets arrived, the wasps and hornets in France were are capable, or I think it was calculated that they consume about 14 million kilos of insects a year wow. in France. They're good things. They are great things. The trouble is the Asian hornets have come, in, come along and loaded them to the grey squirrel, wrong, wrong animal, wrong place. They're yeah. taking over the indigenous species, same as the ring-necked parakeet, yes. taking over. Yeah, we've, got, we've, control. we've got them in Wolverhampton now, haven't we? Yeah, we yeah, so you don't want a, a, a nest of those uh, roosting outside your house in Wolverhampton. Very loud. <laughs> Very loud. I used to live near Richmond Park. I know all about them. Yeah, yeah. And again, you see, like that, that spreads and spreads and spreads, almost mm. like, like a, a mould or a disease almost. And yeah. pests are no different just because they're an animal or an insect. And you can slowly th see things moving around the world and to different places, different islands. Yeah. But a, a pest, no different to a weed, is a plant in the wrong place. It's an insect or an animal Which in the wrong really? place that shouldn't be there, yeah. taking over the indigenous population, cave toad frog, pest needs to be controlled. And, and one of the biggest fears and the fact that the beekeepers are involved with all this is that the Asian hornet, it's, is it its favourite food is the, is the European bee or is it just 
like other other hornets, yeah, I thought as much <laughs> as like like wasps and hornets. What happens is one of the bee, one of the wasps will find a weak colony of bees, and they'll go back, tell their friends, and then they all come back and start taking them out. I will do, but I don't like doing it. Have a dig at a certain place, a certain island, not too far off the coast of uh, of France. Apparently. Every year since 2018, they've had the Asian hornets flying over from uh, Cherbourg over to this little island the size of Manchester. And they will build nests and they've been experimented on, they've done testing, they've done releasing, they've done whatever, wow. which will be oh. illegal in the UK mainland anyway. Yeah. Apparently, at the end of the season, these uh, hornets go, nah. It is the end of the season, I must fly back to La France. Because <laughs> they've never... That 2022 was the first time it was admitted that they found a hibernating queen Asian hornet. But before then, no, it's time to go back to La France. It's crazy. So, um, 2022 was a bad year for them. It was, again, as you said about the heat, temperatures, it wasn't too hot over there. It was ideal conditions over there. So yes, they proliferated. Um, they had over 200 hornet nests. Again, the size of Manchester, that would be unheard of in France. They also admit that um, since the Asian hornet has arrived in this island, Jersey, um, <laughs> they have never had a colony of bees destroyed by Asian hornets. Not a single beehive has been destroyed oh, in right. Jersey since they arrived in 2018 directly attributed to the Asian hornet. What can you say of that, really? You know? Eat that, Daily Mail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the press needs to get on the right side of these tales and stories and needs to start um, telling the truth about and certain beekeepers things. beekeepers need to get off their high yeah. horses. Yeah. We're beekeepers and we're pest controllers. And I like have, you say, you I can be bees. one route without the other, or the other way around. It's a different kettle of fish, as we say in England. A beekeeper, stick to beekeeping, unless you're a qualified pest controller. And if you see, in the UK, if you do see an Asian hornet, and I'm still looking for my first one up in the Midlands, uh, we get calls every year about it, and it never is Asian hornets when we get there. I think what we have to do is we have to go on an app, I believe, I mean, it's already the Asian, craziness is already starting in the UK, Asian isn't it? Asian Hornet Action Group. Yes. I have to find an app which I don't know the name of, and I'm the pest controller. Asian so Hornet Action Group. Asian Hornet Asian Hornet Action Group. Report it on there, or report to local authorities. He's normally a beekeeper. He's never seen an Asian Hornet in their life, mm -hmm. um, and they'll go, Ooh, uh, uh, "Okay." Then after that, they call Defra. What I want Defra to do is once they need to inform correctly the public, which I think they're doing on the Asian Hornet Action Group, so fair play, uh -huh. but um, you need to have a pest controller. Don't just look at a nest and spend three days trying to find it and look at it and go, oh yeah, no, we'll Study it. we need to uh, get a cherry picker and then chop it up live and then we can experiment on it. If you want to experiment on an Asian Hornet nest, Go to Kill Asia. it first. Or go to Asia. Go to Asia. <laughs> Kill it first. In Asia, it's quite bizarre because they've got these Asian hornets and they've still got bees and they've still got babies with heads on. <laughs> Remarkable. <laughs> it's, but then again, if you've got the German wasp yeah. in New Zealand, it's probably the same journalist that write for this other newspaper in the UK. They went over to um, the German wasp, the paper wasp, the paper wasp in New Zealand. Um, there's mass hysteria about the paper wasps in New Zealand. Wow. In between North Island, uh, Wellington, and South Island, Nelson. And, the, and, and like New Zealand is already a country that, through years and years of problem species being introduced, that they're already on eggshells about anything that comes there. So to come up with any kind of story with it, it yeah. usually there's an inkling of truth there's usually an inkling of truth in the, in the stories but then it's just over embellished it's Chinese whispers it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then you end up with murder hornets but yeah. next, <laughs> next time you go to uh, New Zealand go to the um, the museum in Wellington 
and they'll have a video which runs, which shows the list of invasive species. Mm. The only two native mammals in New Zealand are bats. Two bats. They're the only native um, mammals. And in, then we come across in with New Zealand. Rats, rats, possums, horses, dogs, cats, and rabbits, all causing damage. Unfortunately, New Zealand aren't as green as they think they are. Yeah. They have big ton bags of rodenticides and they just drop it yeah. via helicopter in the middle wow. of the forest. Wow. And again, that's, that's common what it's called is the rodenticide, yeah, it's it's very yes. Yeah. We digress. We do. So Robert, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and discuss the differences between the Asian hornet, the European hornet, the German wasp, paper wasps and we're also going to have a look at what you use to get rid of the Asian hornet. So let's go and do that, and that'll be in the next video. Okay, we're here with the uh, local gendarmes now, as well as uh, Robert Moon from Applicator 3D. Let's go and see what they have to say about the Asian hornet. Yeah, so here we are, and this is the bit of kit for sorting out Asian hornets that are up in a, a high tree. 